Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock. Last episode, we had the... We beat the other team. I forgot their letter. They're all like Team A, B, C, D, something to the side. But we beat them. It was not a relegation match. But if we lose another one, I think it's going to look pretty bad for us. So, good job. How do we beat them? So, I've been... We've been wondering what Isagi's true power is. Because we've gone through every player in the team and kind of thought about what their strengths are. Isagi is able to have a crazy sense of vision. Like, he can basically... If you've seen Awashi just recently in the other soccer anime, it's pretty much that. He has omnipotent vision around the field. He can kind of sense where he should be, where his where he should pass, but also where he should be to receive the pass to score a goal. So I guess that's a little bit different. I'm a bit confused because the whole point of Blue Lock is to gather all the forwards, all the strikers in Japan and create the best striker by being the most egotistical person. Doesn't Isagi going through this development of being able to pass and... Isn't that kind of contradictory to what Blue Lock is supposed to be? I thought everybody is supposed to be as selfish as they can and score. But then we also learned that by being selfish, you raise the other teams by raising from like 0 to 1. And Isagi became the one that's able to elevate everyone up. So I guess that is still consistent, but I'm just wondering... How does him being able to have the strength, this OP power of knowing where to pass to score the goal kind of help him as a striker? If anything, he's just like a playmaker, right? But then at the end, he did score a goal because he knew where to be to receive a pass and then to score a goal. So it's not like this field of vision ability is only to make plays. It's like he can be in a position to score for himself. So that, I guess, is being a striker. A little bit confused, but we're going to continue with the story anyways. Let's watch today's episode. So it's probably something like the twins. They're just still so in sync. They can just do crazy kind of combination plays without needing to talk. It's just very efficient between them. And then, what if the twins aren't actually the real threats and there's actual other players? We're finding them already, okay. The twins. But what if the twins are a bait? What if we focus all our attention on them, separating them, and then there's like other players that are actually the real threats? That was kind of what happened in the last episode. Last, uh, last game. Between the guy that was going like this and then their ace striker. These twins are kind of creepy. <laughs> the way they look is kind of creepy. This one doesn't talk. Wait, only one of them talks? And the other guy is like... Mm -hmm. He didn't say anything though. <laughs> so I guess that's the, jo that's the joke, I guess. Eye contact. Well, they don't need to talk. They're just in sync, right? They're just in sync, therefore they can just get past them so easily. They have some kind of history, huh? Made of glass. Because of his injury. So this might be a chickity focused uh, arc then. Maybe. <laughs> He's not saying anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's kind of funny how this one just talks the entire time. It's like, yeah, that's what my brother's saying, even though he's not saying anything. <laughs> Yo. Chigiri, do something. But. Maybe he got the injury playing against these guys, right? It's a mental block too. I don't know how much... Good job, Isagi. I don't know how much of a... Like, injury he has on his leg right now. But it seems like it's like more of like a mental block, right? So maybe Chigiri is actually sturdy enough, but he just can't play because he's scared that he might get injured again. And for six episodes, he hasn't done shit. And every time we try to lift him up, he just like acts so sundere. He's like, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you guys. Dude, come on. It's a team sport. You got to fucking put in your work. You can change too, Chiggity. He's pretty good at talking to Jutsu. Kuon's ability is the jump, right? Nice header. Nice. All right, we're up 1-0. Not bad. Not bad. I thought we'd go behind and then it has to be some kind of like comeback story again. He just talks to himself. <laughs> just... <laughs> it's actually so funny. <laughs> the other brother just like makes facial expressions and then the other twin just like commentates the entire thing on behalf of his brother. Kun's kind of popping off. All right, more headers. Kung's got hops, man. Got the 40-inch vert. 
Volley. If he gets this goal. No, he wouldn't. He does? Well, it's kind of carrying, right? The fuck? At this rate, Shigiri doesn't need, doesn't need to do anything. I kind of hyped. Oh, I didn't expect this, though. Back to back. All right, play around his clone. He's become the number one then. If he makes this face, then this brother's gonna keep making... He's gonna keep explaining. I'm, I don't feel good about this, getting the lead this early. Things are going too well, you know? Yo, Kuhn's gonna get another goal at this rate. Give it to him. Kuhn, go! Another header? No, what the fuck? What? 3 P. Good shit, dude. They're down 3 out. How the fuck are they gonna do anything about this? Yeah. God damn. But unless, are we... Mr. Eagle didn't have much of a reaction there. I think he's thinking what everyone's thinking and, and it's that things are going too well. Things are, yeah, it's, it's almost like, it's all a bait by the enemy team to what? To get three goals on them? And then what? Get them in a false sense of security and then they come back? That's a pretty dumb plan, but what else could it be? Okay, the twins are making a move. But it's still three goals they need to make up. Change in formation. Shigiri can't do anything, of course. Goalkeeper! Don't think about your injured leg! Is it even injured though? I don't believe you're gonna stop anything, goalkeeper. I can't shit on him because he's not a goalie, but... I haven't seen him block a single fucking shot, you know? It's like... I, uh... We do have a two goalie, but at this rate, it's gonna be like 4-3 in an instant. It's gonna be like, what happened? What the fuck? I thought we were up. That kind of thing. Ah, uh, 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 shit. Here comes another quick one. Guys. Oh, no. They're gonna get another goal. Fuck me. A third one's coming. A third one is coming. It's... I don't know how... What the fuck happened? It's just that... Lapse of judgment for just a bit. <laughs> Suddenly, three-two. Guys, guys, you don't have to get on your knees and collapse. What the fuck? Yo, we're we're actually just collapsing. We were up three-zero, and it's just like, <laughs> Raichi, now is not the time. Get your own goals, then. Now we're gonna start doubting ourselves, we're gonna hesitate. This is like quicksand. Everything was going well, and then immediately just boom. They're gonna go 4 3. They're gonna go 4 3. Huh? Wait. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Are you sabotaging us? No, 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 no. We saw that face. He had the concentric circles in his eyes of when shit gets serious. What was that face? Is he intentionally sabotaging after assuming position of captain in our team for what? For other teams here? Did he get paid off? They could, unless a rat already told them about our combination. And that specific rat happened to fucking strategize for our team. Is Kuhn really a fucking rat? Like, did he? Is he selling us out? But, but if he gets eliminated, then he's done. I guess he doesn't give a shit about soccer or playing for Team Japan. I guess he really did get paid off. All by Kuhn. Too easily. And then he... I, what if he lets it... Ah, 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 no, 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 no. He put, Exactly. That was on purpose. 3-0. Goalkeeper, please do something. Goalkeeper... Again, I can't get mad at him because he's not a goalie. Everyone is a forward, a striker. But motherfucker, you haven't stopped a single goal yet. Clone, what's going on, dude? Clone, what are you doing? Has anyone else noticed? Clone. Did you get paid off? Watch him smile. Yes. <laughs> Come on, show me your face, dude. The twins, hey, you don't... You kind of just... All right, they're already admitting. 
Implying that even if the team falls, you yourself can be saved? The fuck? <laughs> got a yellow card for, <laughs> for infighting. It's not even against them. It's like on our own team. <laughs> why? Explain. You don't go home. Why? But I thought this was like a team DQ. Or do you get to change teams? The fuck? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. 12. The actually switch teams? What the fuck? I I don't know. I I don't know. Ego seems to know what's going on. You can move up alone? I didn't know you could do that. How? Yes, I I just didn't know actually. What's the special rule? The most like the more goals you have. Huh? Oh shit. I completely forgot about that if they actually explained that. That's why they let three goals in. That was all part of the plan. What if he scores on his own team? Then does he does that count as goals? Actually? And Kun, honestly, is being a very selfish, egotistical person. And that's kind of blue lock in a nutshell, isn't it? yeah. What Kun's saying isn't wrong, but he's still a piece of shit, man. It's about being selfish and just having ego. Yeah, and what he does, what he's saying is true to that. This dude! This dude! I... And that's another episode of Blue Lock. God, it was maybe too obvious in the beginning of the three goals and I was like, Cool, what the fuck? Were you always this good? Psyche betrayed he sold us and I completely forgot that top scorer can advance even though the team might get disqualified. Completely forgot about that. And it does align with the ideals of Blue Lock, of being an egotistical person, being selfish. It's not about teamwork. It's about individual performance. And if Kwon can do this, then yeah, I guess it's fair. But still, even if it's fair, it's still a piece of shit for selling this out. Nah, this is how I see it going, right? In the beginning, it seemed like this is going to be a Chigiri kind of focused uh, arc of how the twins seem to know about Chigiri's injury. We're talking about Chigiri's injury with Isagi and we're trying to get him out of the shell. And then Kwon started scoring a three goals. So I was like, I guess we don't need him. No, now we need him. I'm not sure exactly how much of the injury is still in just his mental head. Like, this could be just a mental block and his body could be completely fine. Or he actually is injured. I hope that it's the former. I think that he's just experienced a mental block and he's going to pop up in the next episode and get fucking, like, I don't know, four goals by himself and completely negate what Kuhn was doing. But even if we win, Kuhn is still on our team. He's going to still be able to sabotage. How do we get this motherfucker out of our team I, I don't know how we're gonna resolve that i guess we'll find that in the next episodes but hey if you stick around the song and if you enjoyed my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and plays to my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one it helps you to push my sponsor channel to recommend so that i have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors until next time guys take care